packing for a trip can be stressful and frustrating. What should I pack? How will the weather be? Do I need an extra pair of shoes? And suddenly you struggle to fit everything in your bag. Most likely at the end of the trip you come back and you realize you haven't used all of your clothes. You overpacked. In this video I want to show you exactly how I pack for a trip to make it as lightweight and easy as possible. I will also give you a few valuable tips along the way. In this case I'm packing for a trip to Copenhagen in March where the weather can be sunny, rainy, snowy and everything in between. This is probably the best example as if you can pack for this keeping it lightweight you will not struggle packing for any other vacation. First of all, the bag. I always travel with just one bag, a carry-on sized backpack. I got a new one, the Bellroy Transit Backpack in 28 liters. It offers a few smart additional pockets that make traveling with one bag a breeze. Chargers and cables. I have a few devices that need to be charged. My phone, Apple Watch, Kindle and a camera. For cables, I'm getting a charging cable from Rolling Squares, which is a Swiss company and features all kinds of charging options throughout its design. Unfortunately, my camera is very old and not chargeable without directly charging the battery with a bulky charger. And as this is a Swiss charger, I also have to bring a charging adapter cube for different outlets. Lastly, for my Apple Watch, I'm getting the charging cable from Apple. And for my Kindle, I don't need any charger as this will anyway last me a week without charging. All of the charging equipment fits stored away in a separate compartment in the laptop sleeve of the backpack. And speaking of a laptop, for this trip I'm not getting one, but it would have been stored right here. Toiletries. For toiletries I only bring a toothbrush with toothpaste and a deal. Shampoo and shower gel are provided by the hotel anyway. These toiletries are stored on the outside of the bag so that I can quickly grab them in the security check before boarding the plane. And other essentials. I also got a Kindle for this flight. It fits nicely in the front compartment which makes it easily accessible when the bag is stored in the plane underneath the seat in front of you. I also store a pen in this compartment as you never know when you need one. And I also store my keys on the key loop. Close. Now we come to the part where most people overpack. I will give you an example here for my trip which starts on Thursday and ends on Monday. So 5 days in total. Here is how I calculate what I actually need. First starting with the easiest one, socks and underwear. Pack one pair for each day. For sleeping, pack one pyjama. If you're in between long and short, just wear a trainer on the day you travel, which you can use as a pyjama to save space or pack sweatpants. Just a few weeks ago I got these Peak Design Travel Cubes, which are not cheap at all but help me compress and organize my clothes while packing. They also have a separate compartment for dirty clothes. These packing cubes allow me to pack more into the bag as they compress very nicely. I can recommend them if you are into traveling with only one bag. For pants I'm not getting anything additional as I will be wearing it while I travel. What I get for the cold days are a long thermal pants which I can wear underneath in the cold days. Speaking of cold, I pack a pair of gloves, a winter cap and a scarf, of which I actually ended up not using the scarf. For tops, I'm going to wear a thick sweater while traveling to save space. I pack a warm cashmere sweater in the separate compartment and pack another two lightweight long sleeve shirts. They allow me to also layer them underneath my sweaters in case I'm cold. In general, I think you do not need more than one sweater for three days, as even if you feel your sweater is getting a bit smelly after two days, you can hang it in fresh air and the smell will go away. You should actually do this more often, as washing your sweaters ruins the fabric over time. For jackets, I'm just going to wear my Patagonia Nano Puff as this is my favorite jacket of all time. With my layering system of sweaters and long sleeve shirts, this also keeps me warm in winter. 
Additionally to my backpack I'm bringing the sling bag which I will be using while exploring the city. Here I store my camera which is the old Fuji M1, a perfect tiny camera. I will do a separate video about this one in the near future. I also get a small reusable foldable shopping bag, wipes and it will also hold my wallet. For shoes I struggled a bit here as I did not find the perfect winter boot this winter. So I went with my very old brand sneakers which also kept me surprisingly dry on rainy and snowy days in Copenhagen. But these were the only shoes I got so this is what I also wore on the day of traveling. Now let me know if you are an overpacker and what's the one thing you would never leave behind while traveling. If you want to know what are my daily essentials you can check out this video right here and with that being said have a great one.